Today we have the opportunity to be at the downtown farmer's market in Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to talk to the director, we're going to do a little bit of shopping and just have some fun, but stay tuned as we talk about the value of you getting involved and participating in your local farmer's market. Stay tuned. I'm here today with Tasha Kennard, who is the director of the Nashville Farmer's Market, and she was so kind to give us just a few minutes to ask her a few questions that would help us understand what the very best time and reasons are that we should be coming to the Farmer's Market at all. Tasha, thank you for spending time with me for just a few minutes. Oh, thank you for being out here today. <laughs> it's a great day to be out here, although it is very warm. It is. So let me just start by asking you, what is the very best day that somebody would want to come to the farmer's market if they want to beat the crowd? Well, that's a great question. So the Nashville Farmer's Market is open seven days a week. And the best day to shop, if you want to beat the crowd, is going to be Friday morning. Okay. So Friday morning, we have about 15 to 20 vendors out here. They're bringing what they harvested the day before, and they're set up all throughout Farm Sheds 1 and 2. And it's kind of a, it's a day where you can have a longer conversation with the farmer or the producer that you're meeting with. Um, it's got the same variety as a Saturday would in the farm sheds, but it's a little bit of a slower pace. Wonderful. And is there a time of the year that it's better to come? You know, the time of year that's best for harvest here in Middle Tennessee is going to be July through October. So coming to the market on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, July through October, you are sure to be pleased with what you find. You're going to see a lot of selection, a lot of different vendors, and a lot of different activity. You might see live music one day. You might see a food demo the next day. Um, but we wow. really try to make sure that we're celebrating that harvest season here in Middle Tennessee. That's great. That's wonderful to know. And most of the vendors, are they local? Are they from around here bringing their, their harvest? So our vendors come from Tennessee, Alabama, Kentucky, Georgia, South Carolina. Um, we're a regional farmer's market, and I what see. we require is that the producer or the farmer be represented here at our market. So um, when you come, rest assured you're going to be able to meet the person that grew that product or made that product. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, in the Nashville farmer's market specifically, there are some neat things that people really don't realize. Right. Tell us just a few of those. You know, we're, we're a very special place. We are home to over 200 small businesses. That's wow. farmers, food artisans, crafters, flea market vendors, restaurateurs, retail shops. Um, there's a lot to see. Sometimes it can even be a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the market, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to walk through the sheds and get to, get to know a lot of the different small businesses and farmers that operate here, but also don't miss the garden center. Okay. It's open year round, um, whether it's Christmas tree season or it's time to put the annuals or perennials in your garden. And then we've got this market house, which is yeah, talk, absolutely talk amazing. So we have a great time in there. It's a very, very busy marketplace and you can come in and have anything from Caribbean food to a hot dog to a wood-fired pizza. That's um, so you can do breakfast and lunch. And coming in February, our restaurants are gonna be moving into evening hours. So we just want people to come shop, hang out, and really experience what Nashville's yeah. all about. I love it. Okay, give me, lastly, let me just ask, what is your best tip to somebody that has never been to the farmer's market, who's a little bit nervous, maybe they're even new to, yeah. to a city that has a big farmer's market, what would be your best tip for a first timer? First timer is ask questions. Okay. The farmers want you to ask questions. The folks making those food products want you to ask questions, so don't be afraid to do that. It's not rude and it's not intimidating to the person in the booth. So ask them where they're from, ask them how they grew their products. Whatever you need to know about the food that you're buying, make sure that you take that opportunity to ask because they're here to give you answers. Mm -hmm. um, I also recommend that people come prepared for our market. It is a big market. It's gonna take a little bit longer for yeah. you to go through it. So you can go through and kind of compare prices, compare products, and then make your selection based off the questions and what you've seen. And one thing that a lot of folks don't know about the Nashville Farmer's Market is we do workshops and classes every single month. So we have this really great resource called the Grow Local Kitchen. We rent yes. that kitchen out to food entrepreneurs, but we also use it on the first and third Wednesday of every month to do community workshops. 
you can come learn about healthy eating. You can learn about fermenting foods or mm -hmm. canning. Thank you so much for your time. I really well, appreciate you. it. Hopefully we can come visit again. Please do, anytime. shopping for a couple of hours and I'm a little bit sweaty now but it has been so much fun being here at the farmers market. Nashville, Tennessee actually has a very large one but I want to encourage you to get involved even in the little uh, fruit stands that you see along the road as you're traveling home from work on an afternoon. Go ahead and stop in and make conversation with those folks. One of the biggest values of the farmers market is that you're going to meet a lot of people of like mind. The people that participate are actually local growers, local farmers, and very many of them are gonna have a similar mindset to you as a prep setter. So get to know the people as you visit the farmer's market, make conversation with them. Also, another great reason why you would want to become involved is that the produce obviously is gonna be locally grown and much of it is organic. So it's going to be much healthier for you than what you find in the local supermarket. Also, I just wanna say this, when you go to a farmer's market or even a fruit stand, often you can load up on things that you didn't get grown in your garden. Like, for instance, I had a terrible year with my tomatoes. And so this is the perfect spot for me to come and load up on somebody else who had a bumper crop of tomatoes. If you happen to have a really great year with cucumbers, see if there's somebody who wouldn't uh, be willing to trade tomatoes for cucumbers with you or such. You get the idea, right? The produce here is going to be a little less expensive, sometimes a lot less expensive than what you're going to find in the supermarket, so that's a nice perk. A couple of tips, when you go, literally make yourself at home. Don't feel like a stranger. Everybody here doesn't know each other, but you feel like family because you're there. Also, bring a basket like this or some sort of a big bag that you can fill up. It just makes it easier. It kind of saves the environment from having to have a bunch more plastic being um, made to make bags for your stuff. So bring your own basket when you go to the farmer's market. Have a good attitude and, and make sure that you make conversation with everybody around you. Bring cash, but a lot of farmer's market nowadays even accept credit cards. Just make sure you have a little bit of cash on you because that's the easiest way to um, buy and sell at a farmer's market. All right, with no further ado, I hope that you'll get involved. I hope you take the time before the summer is over to go. I'm coming back next week because I'm gonna load up on peaches so that we can do canning of peaches for the winter and I love those. So stay tuned for the next video when we do a little bit of canning. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, bye for now and God bless you. Before you go, let me share a quick minute of scripture. This is actually out of Proverbs chapter 22, verse one. It says, a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is much better than silver or gold. Now go spread the word.